Fred, and I uh, just wanted to make a short video to demonstrate one of my workflows and how they work because I think it can be kind of confusing. I have been using Comfy UI off and on for uh, over four years. Um, I initially grew frustrated with it just because uh, uh, I had a lot of problems and it was uh, hard to troubleshoot everything. Uh, and I kind of got away from it, but after I got deep into AI, I started using Comfy UI again, and uh, that's well over a year and a half or two years ago, and I have not looked back. I, I use it as my primary, uh, my primary image driver. I do sell uh, some images on different products on a couple of Etsy stores with very mixed success, I must say. But uh, what I did want to do was just take a few minutes and show you how to use this workflow uh, because I think it's pretty powerful and it does use some of my custom notes. I thought a demonstration might be easier than just uh, the document that's up in my GitHub to uh, to explain it. So I'm going to switch over here to the workflow and I'll just uh, zoom in a little bit. You can see there's two groups uh, of nodes on the workflow and a, a quick little uh, fast group bypasser to open them up. Uh, this is called the Iterative Nano Banana Workflow because what I wanted was a way to build off images without having to go back into the output folder, find the image, drag it in, uh, upload it, and then make a change to it. And that's, that's kind of a rinse, wash, repeat process that wasn't very effective. And so I wanted a, a workflow and a process that made more sense to use. Um, this image that we see on the screen, let me just move that over and blow it up a little bit. It's uh, a dragon with a couple of kids. The intention was to use this for a puzzle, but there's a lot of reasons that this is not good the way it is. The contrast is uh, not, not very good. The colors are very much the same throughout. The haze in the background is not helpful. And so we want to fix all those things. We want to do it uh, with this workflow. So I'm going to use this by way of example. Now, what this workflow does is stores images between runs into a memory store node. Memory store node currently is set for a key of last two. It could be anything. It could be any key, any combination that you want. Um, but both the memory recall and the memory store nodes have to have the same key. The first thing I do when I go into it is I clear those keys uh, for a new run. I could also just change the, uh, change the key to something else, of course. But here, I'm going to go into memory clear. And I'm just going to change this to last two because that's the key I'm going to clear. And I just queue this node right here. And that clears the uh, keys. If I've used a bunch of keys and I just want to clear them all out, I can do the same thing with this and just clear all the keys that way. This is the uh, node for using Nano Banana. It uh, has two image inputs. And that's kind of key to this whole thing. Um, and, and you don't have to use an uploaded image. You can just start with a prompt, but in this case we're going to use an uploaded image, uh, which I've shown you, and that image is connected through these uh, five upload image uh, batch, uh, batch node into the images input socket on the Gemini generate image node. In this node, I just want to point out a couple of things. You've got your typical drop down for which model you want to use. These width and heights don't do anything as far as it would affect the image. Uh, these were put in here to be entered manually for output to metadata. And frankly, this uh, node has gone through more than 10 variations over the couple of months that I've been working on it. The aspect ratio is, uh, is going to affect the image. And so in this case, we're using 4.3 because it's going to be a puzzle, and those are the sides that the print-on-demand store is going, to, uh, is going to use. The quality can be standard ultra. Standard is fine for what I'm doing. The rest of the stuff is, um, it, some of the rest of the stuff is mostly self-explanatory. But uh, the important part here is um, the use initial image or use images uh, connectors. You can also use a mask. Uh, you can see you can input a mask and you can use a mask as well. But what we want to do for the first run is make sure that initial images, which is the image that we're going to be creating over here, is set to false and use images is set to true. And that's going to force it to use the image that I uploaded. And so we're going to just uh, go up here, take another whoop grab the wrong node. We're going to take another quick look at the image. And what we're going to do is start out 
by putting more color and definition to the grasses because the grasses are going to obviously be a problem for puzzle creation. So I'm just going to go up here and say add more color and contrast to the grasses along with some meadow flowers. And we'll run that. Okay, and now you can see we've done that. So what I want to do is build up this image. So I'm going to go over here and change, use, use images to false and use initial image now to true. And now we're going to be building off this save image uh, uh, output. And so what I want to do is add more contrast and color, get rid of the haze in the, uh, in the background. So I'm going to go up here and say, Remove the haze in the background and provide more definition to the trees. It shows the iterative image that we're using on the left uh, and on the right. And, and by the way, I've got a metadata node that I use a lot. Uh, I know some people use save image uh, with uh, with metadata, um, and uh, and either one is fine. I don't use it for this because I don't need to save metadata for each one of these nodes individually. I just don't care, uh, don't care that much. Okay, so so far so good, but we still have a lot of blue in the sky, and the clouds need more color and more definition. So we're going to go up and say add more contrast to the sky and more color to the clouds. Okay. So that looks really good. I'm going to do one more thing and just kind of add something right here. I'm going to say to um, add a uh, sliver of a moon. Add a sliver of a moon to the center right portion of the sky. And I don't, oh, there it is. It didn't put it right where I wanted it. So I'm just going to say move the moon to the upper right. Near the dragon's wing. Okay, that's where I wanted it. So that's it. It's just a quick video to show you what uh, what this workflow can do and, and what I think is pretty powerful. Uh, I hope you like it. It is available on my GitHub. I'll put the link down below, or you can get it from Comfy UI Manager now. Uh, uh, if you just go to Comfy UI Manager and search for uh, FSL, uh, which are my initials, you will get uh, uh, the uh, nodes and the workflows. Uh, so uh, enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions. You can just put issues in my GitHub. I've also got a Discord, which is frankly uh, pretty lightly used to say the least. But uh, I, I check it, you know, from time to time. Uh, usually once a day I go and peek into it. So if you have any questions, you can put them in there also. Uh, thanks. Have a great day.